divorced dads, listen up. Some of y'all are not gonna like this, but this is why you need to hear this. When I went through my divorce, I was angry. I was bitter. I knew all the buttons to push, just like you know all the buttons to push with your ex. She knows all your buttons, blah, 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 right? I was angry and I wanted her to hurt because I hurt. We spent six months picking up and dropping off my kids from a police station. That's how big of a dick I was. Yeah, but Sean, she... Listen, fellas, you got to pay attention to what I'm about to tell you, okay? Every time I wrote her a check every month, I cringed. I was pissed. This is a woman who's the mother of my children who used to drive from her 10,000 square foot house that, guess who was paying for, across town to pick up her boyfriend to bring him back so that they could hang out because he didn't have a car. And he was living in an apartment with six roommates. You want to talk about pissed? You want to talk about angry? You want to talk about bitter? I get it, fellas. I get it. But let me let you in on a little secret. If you're dealing with courts, if you're dealing with anger, if you're dealing with frustration, if you're dealing with feeling like getting you screwed over by the system, that's your fault. It's 100% your fault. And here's why. I was angry. I knew all of the buttons to push. I said all the dumb shit. I did all the things that kept her pissed off. You gotta understand something, fellas. It's your job to write those checks. If she wants to go get Botox and get her tits done with it, that's up to her. Fellas, if you have war going on with your ex, it's your fault. Yeah, but Sean, yeah, but Sean, I could sit here and tell you all of the things that my ex did to me about lying, literally accusing me of beating her up one night came out to be completely false, yet who was accused of domestic violence? I was. Who had to go to court in front of all of the freaking people in court and deny that claim and be found truthful and accurate on that claim? Me. You can't help what she does, dude. You can't base your, your actions off what she does. I want you to take this visual for a second and understand it. Imagine for a second she's holding a gun pointed at you. All the dumb shit that you say all the dumb shit that you do, those snide little remarks, all those text messages, all the drama and the gossip that you talk about with your friends and her friends and the whole thing, you know what you're doing, bro? You're putting bullets in the gun and she'll just keep shooting and shooting and shooting. You want to know how you stop the war? Don't give her anything to shoot. Don't give her any bullets. Fellas, if you're at war with your ex, it's 100% your fault. Stop the war. You're at war with yourself, man. I get it. Trust me. There's a lot more to this story that I can share, but I shared enough to paint the picture. I understand what it's like to go through a nasty ass divorce and literally have to pull into a parking lot and have a fucking policeman standing in between me and my ex-wife. She wasn't allowed to get out. I wasn't allowed to get out. My little kids had to pick up their little suitcases, walk around the policeman to get in my car to come over for the weekend. I know what it's like, bro. And the second that I stopped pulling bullets in the gun, guess what happened? The game changed. The second that I stopped putting bullets in the gun and I focused on getting me right, getting my mind right, getting rid of the anger, the game changed. Fast forward to today, my ex-wife and I have a phenomenal relationship. Our kids are healthy. I'm healthy. She's healthy. It's good. So, fellas, if you're at war with your ex, it is your fault. Step up to the plate. Take accountability for it all, man. That's power. That's power. You want to be a, a good role model for your kids? Be accountable. I understand how hard it is. I feel you, I really do. It is your job to get the bullets out of the gun.